added three more and you said that was 12, right? Meet math interventionist, Miss Wallace Bond. So it's a trapped triangle, it's a trapezoid. And her right hand reptile, Pythagoras. Her classroom may be a bit unique. Still be nine, still nine, right? But her message stays the same. If you don't take that time um, in elementary school to build that strong foundation, then, then they, you know, aren't ready to hit the ground running. That a strong foundation is built for not only her students. But I only know like adding and subtracting and now I know like how to do it like in a snap and fractions. But their parents as well, like James Taylor, whose daughter Morgan is teaching him math. They teach five and five senses in school, you know what I mean? But they don't teach you common sense. So you, know, <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get that where you can get it. That's because here at Brockman Elementary School in Richland District 1, Miss Bond is teaching her students' parents the new math formulas. So many of them in the, have come and said, help me, you know, help me know how, help me know why doing it this way is better than doing it the way I learned. The goal of the new Common Core Math offers students a variety of techniques for teaching their final results. Could also be three rows of three. The hope is that students will have a whole toolbox of different strategies to rely on and not just know the answer, but why it's the answer. If you had a hard multiplication problem, could you tell why it works? or subtraction with across zeros. Can you tell why that works? Well, if you know different ways, you can say, I understand why that works. That's not the way I do it, but I understand why it works. Just ask James. She taught me how to not look at everything the same way I was looking at it when I started looking at the paperwork and stuff like that. So I get it, I said, oh, that's, that's hold on now. Let me see. I know daddy go like this and like that. I said, oh okay, gosh, but you can do it this way and that way. With some extra help from Ms. Bond. The parents are always saying, what can I do to help? How can I, you know, how can I help them with this? I try to teach them something the day before and then say, take this home and teach your parent. Because each one teach one. And although it may be different from what we were taught, James sees the positive results in his daughter's test scores. But Ms. Bond's turned everything around with her. Um, it's like her personality change. She started liking and loving it and stuff like that. So. She's doing better now than she did. We hope that these students will grow up and be able to say, oh, even if it's different than what they learned, they would be able to say, oh, that's an interesting way I understand what's happening. Well, there you go. There's a new way of learning that math. So well, sweet. It's so great there. Miss Bond, we have to huge, a huge congratulations there. She's actually a finalist for this year's Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science Teaching. It's actually the highest honor by the U.S. government specifically for K-12 science, technology, and engineering math teaching. This is so incredible. <laughs> Miss Bond is one of six finalists in South Carolina for the award and one of three in the mathematics category. I love Miss Bonds. I love <laughs> the lizard. I love the parents who are showing up to relearn math. I love everything about this story. Yeah, uh, Pythagoras is definitely the best teaching assistant I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. And uh, he's definitely helping Morgan and James learn a little bit of math there. Uh, honestly,